Aloha! This is Hotel Walkthrough Wednesday. I'm Irina. And I'm Devon. And we are Just, Just Be out. out. We create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. We're currently in Hawaii, created over a hundred videos on everything to do Hawaii, where to stay. And today we're taking you on a walking tour through Hilton Hawaiian Village. Just, Just be, be out, out with, with us. us. Hilton Hawaiian Village is an iconic hotel located in Waikiki. Right behind me, it's a very famous statue of hula dancers, Polynesian hula dancers. They have several ponds uh, on their property with fishes, and it's really cool area, nice and peaceful and relaxing. So let's go through Hilton Hawaiian Village property so you can see what it's what it looks like and hopefully this video will help you make a decision whether you want to stay at this hotel or not. Hilton Hawaiian Village definitely offers so many photo opportunities. Uh, the statue that you just saw, so many people take photos of it. Aloha! <laughs> this is so cool guys as we're shooting this video already. Um, second person just uh, noticed us and just yelled out out of the car just be out we absolutely love meeting you guys so if you see us on the street even though if we're in the middle of the shoot just say hello say aloha or just yell out just be out <laughs> this is awesome so um right behind the statue there is um really beautiful waterfalls and the bridge that you can again just walk through or take pictures of it it's really gorgeous It is called a village for a reason. The property is one of the biggest here in Waikiki. Of course, on the island, there are some other hotels that offer um, way, that have way more property and even golf courses, but Waikiki is a very small area and Hilton Hawaiian Village uh, literally have the biggest property here. And uh, here you can see another waterfall And they even have two Starboxes here on the premises. This is the main entrance where uh, if you are taking a cab or if you're driving, this is where you would go through. There are quite a lot of shops and we will go through all the shops. Aloha, ikomu mai. Ikomu mai in Hawaiian means welcome. And if you haven't seen our sorry, if you haven't seen our video on um, most popular Hawaiian words that you will encounter while coming to Hawaii, we will link we will leave the link in the description below. So this is. Uh, Kalia Tower. There are several towers. There is uh, Kalia Tower, Rainbow Tower, and I think there is another tower. And uh, also uh, Hilton has a tower for the Hilton Vacation Club. There is ABC right across the street. 
and uh, an, uh, Martin and MacArthur store. There is a Japanese steakhouse right here. And you see the, the village is designed in Japanese style. It's really cool theme here. So should we go through the village right here? There is another ABC, uh, a surf shop with uh, some apparel and anything and everything you would need for the beach. Some t-shirts, sunglasses. You can pick a pearl here, guys. There's a pearl factory right here. And uh, for $15.99, you can get an oyster. They will open it for you. And you can get your personal pearl. So over there, there are all the shops um, with some apparel, souvenirs, some art. You know, your regular ABC stores have all the necessities. This is actually a really big ABC store. They also have sell liquor here. There is an enterprise uh, uh, right here office as well. But right now, if you have been following uh, us, you know, we tell you all the updates, there is a car shortage. There is my favorite jewelry store, a Hawaiian jewelry store, Nahoku. Let's just walk through the court. There is another Japanese restaurant right there behind you. This is a really cute courtyard. It's a lot of shade, very relaxing. And look at this massive banyan tree, guys. Honolulu Cookie Company. Right. Um, souvenir shop and some custom jewelry. As you can see guys, there are so many stores here. They even have Louis Vuitton here. So if you just come in here, you can literally stay here for the entire week and not having to come out from this resort. But I highly recommend that you do. Cookies Clothing Company. This is uh, another tower. This is called Diamond Head Tower. And again, inside that tower, there are also some shops and restaurants and cafes. And the Hilton Hawaiian Village have their own chapel. And look how beautiful for weddings. They have a little waterfall set up here too. And again, guys, this is perfect for just photo opportunities. On, in this area, pre-COVID, they used to do movie nights on Wednesday and Saturdays, right? On open air, you see the grass slopes up a little bit. That's where they would put up the screen. They have speakers. And again, you do not have to be a guest at the hotel to come here to watch a movie. Uh, a lot of locals come and um, they just bring blankets, they bring pizza and just um, watch movies on the open air. It's really beautiful and it's free.
Look, they have some uh, cute little statues right here. And now we are approaching the main registration area and the valley where you would arrive and check in. Hilton Hawaiian uh, Village doesn't have like a closed set lobby. It's all open concept, all open air. Uh, they have really beautiful design panels for the registration. I really like it. But the main disadvantage is there are no lounging or sitting areas here at the registration. So if you arrive with your group and um, one or two people go to check in, the rest kind of have to stand and look at the lines. Right now it's high season. It's beginning of July. But the view from this lobby though, come check it out. <laughs> we have a small fountain, ocean view, and their pool view. Wow, the lines for registration is massive. So if you're getting hungry while one person is staying to check in, you can go across the street and get some food. Let me show you what are the food options available here at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. hotel it has so many little hidden alleys and stuff so it's really cool to walk around this is one of our favorite places to go for an evening stroll just relaxing walk there is a Kona Mountain coffee shop so this is a very famous um, ice cream shop right here and there is always a line but you can smell the sugar and waffle cone from the outside so just take a peek here there is another jewelry store can't have enough of jewelry stores right ladies there's a famous story Richard's store here and this is a food court so uh, they have a pretty good selection of options they have round table pizza where they even have gluten-free crust pizza there is a Hawaiian apparel store if you don't want to go to Aloha Swap Meet there's Subway there is New York style restaurant where they do some sandwiches, burgers, wraps. And there is a blue water shrimp uh, place as well, where you can get a shrimp plate. Upstairs, yes, they also have a restaurant upstairs. It's an Italian restaurant fresco. I think this is uh, the only restaurant, so we're not gonna go upstairs there.
Right, so now we're gonna go towards the famous Hilton Hawaiian Lagoon and the Rainbow Tower, of course. Just be careful crossing the street here, guys, because, you know, it's an active street and cars always go through here. What you can see here is a really large lawn and you can see some chairs and tables are set. Is it, uh, this is because this area is reserved for private events that happen in here at Hilton Hawaiian Village. And depending on the event, if uh, you know the whoever orders the event, they want to do a Hawaiian luau. This is the place where you can come and watch luau performances for free. You cannot join this luau because it's a private event. However, Hilton does have their own luaus as well, uh, which is located right on the roof deck over there. So this tower is uh, uh, reserved for uh, Hilton Grand Vacations Club and uh, what I like about this place is that once you uh, just follow me and I will show you why. So this is uh, where guests for the private events and luau's take pictures right between those tiki bar, uh, tikis and all the way at the end you will also see giant tikis is where the performance is happening aloha thank you so if if we go to this tower hilton grand vacations Right from this bench, guys, if you sit right here, you get a perfect view of the show of the private luau's that Hilton organizes. And here you can see a mock-up of the entire property of the Hilton Hawaiian Village. So let me see if I can show you where we entered. So this is where we entered and walk through this road all the way and right now if you see the, this little lawn with tiny tiny chairs is that is what we just showed you for the, the private events. This is the famous rainbow tower which is located right across you can see it from here and you can see the rainbow on one side of the tower and on the other side of the tower. So the lobby is pretty simple and that is how it is in other uh, towers as well. There is not much lounging areas, not much um, cheers uh, to hang out in the lobby. Hilton Hawaiian Village is more about their outdoors property and their property is gorgeous. There is a lot of greenery, everything is well groomed and you can see uh, workers setting up for the evening event right here. They 
have these tables out only on the day of the private events uh, that they are doing. If you see that this uh, lawn is completely empty, that means they are not doing the event that day. So they also have um, adults only pool and it's located here. Thank you. Thank you. But as you can see kids come here too. So it's a smaller pool but they do have a big bigger pool. Maybe they changed the rules because there are all the kids here. But they used to be adult only. Uh, and um, uh, let's go check it out. They have another waterfall at the pool as well. Jacuzzi is not working. Hot tub. So there is a, um, there are two water slides here. So I guess it is uh, the area just for cakes specifically. Oh, that's cool. You can go through the cave into the water slide. can see Ilikai Hotel. If you guys want us to do a walk through Ilikai, let us know in the comments. And there is a lagoon grill right there if you get hungry. Hilton Hawaiian Village is a beachfront and waterfront hotel and they even have their own man-made lagoon. Thank you so much. It is a gorgeous setting and in the middle of the, the lagoon they have an island and, and they also do a really cool service here where they do mermaid photo shoots so you can uh, book your mermaid photo shoot and they provide you with outfits mermaid outfits the the tail for the entire family kids male female and adults so you can have the entire paradise mermaid photo shoot with your entire family and the setting is really beautiful because uh, that little island in the middle of the lagoon actually have a, a small waterfall. It is so picturesque. Here at the lagoon you can also rent chairs and water bicycles and, sur uh, and paddle boards as well. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. You can get your towel, sunscreen here, but this is where um, you would normally book it right now. They're closed, but this is where you would normally book your photo shoot with mermaids outfits. Check it out right now. There are some kids hanging out on the little island. It is really beautiful. And the lagoon, by the way, guys, is public. It's not, you do not have to be uh, a hotel guest in order to go swim in the lagoon. The famous rainbow tower. You can also book your surf lesson right from here. Alright guys, if you watch till this point, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment below. Would you stay at Hilton Hawaiian Village? Alright, back to the lagoon. Hilton Hawaiian Village is famous for their Friday fireworks. Since COVID, they've been discontinued, but once all the things go back to normal, we are sure and confident Hilton will start their Friday fireworks. Uh, as the sun go, uh, goes down around 7.45, 7.30, depending on the season, they do uh, fireworks right here. It lasts about five minutes. So if you're here on Friday, be sure to check it out. So this lagoon is public. So it is very famous for locals to come and hang out. There is a grass area all around the lagoons and that's where locals set up. They come with large families, especially on the weekend. They bring blankets, they bring barbecue, they play music and just enjoy and relax. And I don't blame them. <laughs> Look at the view. The view is gorgeous. Matter of fact, I come here all the time as well and listen to uh, some educational courses or I develop concepts, I write things on the iPad and all around the, the lagoons there are benches here where you can just enjoy the view, hang out and relax. Here there is also garlic shrimp truck guys. If you're coming here to Waikiki and you don't get a car rental due to shortage of course you don't need to go to the north shore to try garlic shrimp garlic shrimp truck is here at in waikiki and it's right to the hilton and right next to the hilton hawaiian lagoon Just keep in mind, they take cash only, guys. And they are open 11 a.m. till 4 p.m. and closed on Tuesday. Right from this vantage point, you get stunning, unobstructed view of the Diamond Head. So if you want to take some pictures with Diamond Head on the background, this is the place to do so. Just check it out right here. 
this is perfect. All right, so let's go back to the property of Hilton Hawaiian Lagoon. By the way, guys, you've been asking us how far away Hilton Hawaiian Village from the main attractions. Well, there are really two ways to walk to the main strip of Kalakaua Avenue, because uh, Hilton Hawaiian Village is not the last hotel or maybe the first right depends where you consider um, beginning or end of Waikiki but it's a it's a little bit away from uh, the main area of where all the restaurants and where um, Duke's statue is so you can take this path and walk all the way alongside the ocean it's like a beach walk and we have done so many beach walks if you join our friday live stream by the way we stream li live every friday at 6 p.m eastern time 3 p.m pacific time and 5 p.m standard time and a lot of times we do either drone footage or we do uh, walk life walk so you can literally see how the beach walk is from Hilton Hawaiian Village all the way to Duke statue and Kapahulu groin or if you don't want to get your feet a little feet a little bit sandy you can also take the streets and just stay till the end of the video I will show you which path to take if you want to go um, to the main area from the from the street But again guys, Hilton Hawaiian Village is literally a village and there are plenty of restaurants, coffee shops and shops for you to um, get all your needs satisfied. It's just I do recommend to explore outside of your hotel. Oh, good, good. Okay. If you don't want to chill at the, uh, at the pool, the beach is literally steps away and you can rent your umbrellas here. Here's Dairy Queen for all your uh, sugar cravings, satisfaction. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Hilton has uh, a little, a lot of different alleys and ponds. And right there, you can see a beautiful alley with a waterfall, perfect for picture taking. And the pond is right next to it. Beach services. So let's just uh, quickly dip into this alley and then we'll continue walking around. The reason why I wanted to come here is because I can be in the shade for a little bit. It's so hot here. So right here you can notice, take a selfie spot strategically placed. So there are so many really great spots for you to take pictures around Hilton Hawaiian Village property and you do not have to be a guest. You can just walk around. Uh, come enjoy the restaurants just walk through the property and you do not have to be a guest There is another restaurant here, Bali Steak and Seafood, and it's oceanfront dining. Right now we are walking around their main pool area. Remember I told you about the valleys? Look, there are valleys all around. You can go there, there are some ponds, cute walkways. 
and we are passing through the main registration area where we were a little bit earlier in the video. There are massive koi fishes here in the pond. This is another tower, the Ali Tower. And of course, there are more shops. <laughs> shop here a corner brewing serving draft beers uh, Waikiki, uh, oh, Waikiki wiki wiki market where you can get some sandwiches ice cream This is a very famous restaurant, Tropics Bar and Grill, with everything in Hawaii being limited capacity. The lines form pretty fast and they are massive. So if you're coming to Hawaii, be sure to reserve, make a reservation. They are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they also have a bar, and it is oceanfront with gorgeous view, of course. Here is where you can check in for your Atlantis submarine adventure. It is a really great experience, and the appear is really close. If you can see it in the distance, that is where you take the submarine. You see the white uh, post. Let's go back to the entrance and to uh, another tower. Just wanted to give you a quick walk through. Four of them in here. And I will show you a spot where you can. Uh, um, spot some turtles, not honus, not Hawaiian green sea turtles, but regular small uh, freshwater turtles. They're really cool. Cake is gonna love it. <gasps> Look at that bird. You see? <laughs> Are you looking at that bird right there? Look, do you see that gray and black bird? Wow, it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give you one um, little tip. 
So if you're just walking around the property and you really need to use the bathroom, this is the place, Ali Tower. As you walk in, you will see elevators and right to the right of the elevators, there are um, bathrooms, clean, nice bathroom that do not need the key uh, to go in. So if you walk around and really need to go, this is the place. So this is another freshwater pond and the fishes over here are massive. Look at that black one. It's literally half a size of me. Try to come here in the morning and see if you can spot some turtles. They're usually hanging out on the rocks and they just stay still they literally look like statues they're really cool let me see if i can find any right now sometimes we come here and there are no turtles at all and i don't know where they're hiding i can't really see them and sometimes they just spread all over uh, the, this rocky area and um, at the beginning of the video i showed you where the first starbucks was and here is another starbucks more clothing shops here i didn't know that but actually starbucks have different pricing depending on the location and this is guys the most expensive starbucks and if you look at the map Here is where we started, that's where the statues are. This is the first Starbucks that we walked by and this is the main Rainbow Drive where we came in from and this is the main lobby area. So we are right here by Ali'i Tower. This is another tower, it's Diamond Head Tower. When you walk around, be sure just to look around. You can see these little statues hidden all over the place. So this, this is a freshwater pond. Look out for the duckies. <laughs> so we are back to the area where we showed you the chapel and the lawn where they do outdoor movies. And I want to walk through with you uh, through this tower. Um, I think this is called uh, Tapa Tower. I'm confused with all the towers that they have here. But this is one of the open towers where you can walk through and they have some restaurants inside and more shops. Let's just go around this way first. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
and it's another pool, guys. And you can see from here, the rainbow tower is peeking from between the trees. Another pick and pearl stand. Pick a pearl, not pick and pearl. <laughs> this is Tapa Bar. And it's a poolside bar. They have a stage here uh, with some performances. This is the main lobby of this tower and this, uh, elevators. So we're just gonna walk right through it so I can show you where you guys go for the uh, main walk. I just walk around the statue real quick. Yeah, it's well, it's because these are things they have. Here you can learn some history. Right now we are walking through the tower, but we are right parallel uh, to the main uh, to the Rainbow Drive, where we the main road where we actually entered. Aloha, what's that? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I don't know, my boyfriend got it for me. <laughs> All right, so we are back where we started. And here I will show you where you will find Kalakawa Avenue. So if you take the street right around uh, you will uh, um, bump into Outrigger Reef Hotel, uh, Halikulani Hotel, and Lure Street. Lure Street is very popular for um, some restaurants, bars, there's Yard House, and uh, from there you get to Kalakawa Avenue. So if you walk here, I would say it's about 12 minute walk to Kalakawa uh, Avenue itself. And from there, another 10 minute walk to the Duke's statue. That concludes another Wednesday hotel walkthrough. Thank you so much for joining and staying with us all the way till the end of the video. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to give it a thumb up, leave a comment, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we do other hotel walkthroughs every Wednesday and we do giveaways, we do Friday live streams and just we provide so much value uh, and everything about Hawaii. If you enjoyed this video be sure to click through this playlist and watch other walkthroughs that we have done in Waikiki. 
So as usual, mahalo so much for watching. And, and just be out with us. Cheers!